headed to Claremont. First, I have to get away from this big giant tree limb, but I know I can do it. We're gonna make it. Let's get all set. See you in a bit. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness for fabulous people in RV parks. I uh, had everything all going with my Jeep and I was dragging my tires through the sand. Oh, thank goodness it was sand and people noticed. So I guess maybe uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes later, we are finally ready to roll. Took the truck driver guy next to me helping. them that's the important part right so I have heard of the best drivers the most experienced drivers doing the same thing and I always wondered how the heck did you do that and so today I just wasn't paying enough attention when I started through my checklist in my brain usually I go right through it today when I was connecting my car I started talking to somebody else and had a whole big conversation and was doing things while I was talking. Well, I did it. I smoked my tires. Lucky for me, it was through the sand and about a foot on the pavement. I know how it happened though. I even went back to check to be sure that the emergency brake was on or off, actually. I know how it happened. I forgot to turn off the parking brake when I was finished connecting my car. And when I got in my rig, I remembered that I had not turned off my parking brake. And so I got out and I went back and looked and the light was off because mine is just a little lever with a light. Uh, I'm a dummy, a dummy, 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 because the light was off because the car was turned off. And so because the light was off, and the key fob is in the ignition, even if it's not on, the light would be on, on that little parking brake button. But I'm a goober and I saw that the light was off and thought, oh, I'm all set. And so I climb in my rig thinking, well, it was good to double check. I'm in my rig and start pulling out. And I didn't feel it because the rig's pretty strong and I was in sand. So I pulled my Jeep all the way across the sand. When it hit the pavement, other people around me saw it and people started waving and shouting. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen it till I was up on the pavement and ruined probably my tires. So anyway, I know how it happened. Lesson learned, a couple of things. Um, if you're gonna stop and talk, start the process over and go through seeing where you are. And biggest lesson learned, um, take the key bag with you and turn the ignition on just so you can make sure that the emergency brake is off. I'm good, nothing got hurt, just a little bit of excitement, but I learn something new every day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you'll join me again for a little bit more of 
how not to RV or how not to smoke your tires. <laughs>